Hey guys, what's up? Serpentai19 here taking a look at Of Guards and Thieves. Now, this is a top down strategy shooter where one side is playing as a gun wielding guard and the other side is playing as. Is that someone? Nope. As a knife wielding or an insta killing um, thief. As you can see, this is a thief right here. And one of the main mechanics of the game is to turn off and on these red light switches. Got him. And turn them back on. Oh, is that another one? Nope. Get these light switches back on. So this game has been slowly adding quite a few updates. The latest one just added four new characters, I believe, including a medic class, so they are actually going for quite a strategic kind of game here. No one's in here. Oh! Wow, I survived that. <laughs> Basically in this game mode I believe I'm playing zombies, so the insta-killing thieves have been changed into zombies and they have to eat a brain that's in a glass jar somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so when you're playing as the thief or the zombie, you can actually see everything, like, in your view range. You can see everything with uh, night vision goggles. That's kind of how they balance it out with the insta-killing. And I'm almost out of ammo. Switch up to a pistol. Need some light. Okay, I can't see anything. No. Right. So this game is purely multiplayer. It's purely multiplayer with a maximum of 16. 16 players aside. And it's gonna be, it's gonna have quite a few game modes. I believe it was 11 game modes last time I checked their forums. Oh! Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> the pistol is not that great. I need more ammo for my assault rifle anyway. Yeah, so last time I checked, they're gonna have 11 game modes that they have planned. They're still working on them. There is currently four game modes in the game including deathmatch, team deathmatch, zombie mode which is what I'm playing now. The zombie mode which I'm playing now and um, I can't remember what they called it exactly but it's the objective based one which is the main game mode, Guards and Thieves. And we won. Awesome. Yeah, it's actually quite hard to win as the um, zombies in this because you have to find the brain and then it's usually way back in the survivor's area so they can defend it pretty easily. So yeah, this is a 250 megabyte download over on their official site which is actually qu really quite small. 
and the game's actually really competitive. They have planned uh, a couple of like leaderboards and ranked game modes and competitive. So yeah, I actually see this game getting quite a lot of traction in there because it is quite fun to play and really competitive in some games. Some other games people just muck around a bit, but when you get into the real competitive ones, it really does shine. Uh, they have more weapons and more gadgets coming to the game, so once this next game starts up I'll be able to show you the different loadouts. But gadgets are going to be quite a big part of the game, they're going to be like um, sensors and laser tripped mines and stuff like that. and they're going to be available for both guards and the thieves side. That beeping is quite annoying. <laughs> I'm hoping he starts soon. Yes, there we go. Three seconds. So we're going to be doing another zombie rush game mode here. Alright, so... There's only two available in the free version of the game that's up at the moment. The free version of the game is not going to last for very long. Once they go into release, it's going to be a full purchase title. So as you can see here, there's two different loadouts. One, this one is a faster... He moves faster and has less health. And this guy has more health, moves a little bit slower, 0.5 slower. And has the assault rifle, whereas this guy has the submachine gun. If you pay at the moment, I don't think you can. I think they're still working on getting the shop in the game. Um, but yeah, when you pay, you can get the medic and the tank class, I'm assuming, with the riot shield there. So I'm going to take the assault again. And as you can see, gadgets are going to be here. And I'm not sure what the extras are going to be. These might be like XP boosts or something. I'm not quite sure. Oh god, all the lights are out already. That guy was not in a smart spot. <laughs> Another way they've kind of balanced it as well is the guards can't get through these tunnels and vents. Walk through the door, go on. Oh! <laughs> that was a pretty bad play by me. Oops. <laughs> oh, but yeah. So, about the shop. And when that's gonna leave, it's free to play beta stage. Um, there'll be two. Who is that a guy there? No. There'll be 200 copies of the game. The first 200. That will be. Damn it. Yeah. So there'll be the first 200 game, 200 versions of the game. That'll be selling for ten dollars. After that, the game will be selling for $15, and I believe all the content will be unlocked. They haven't said whether you'll be able to buy anything extra. XP boosts might be what they're planning to do, but again, I'm not quite sure. Turn that light on. He was too far away in that bush to get a one hit. <laughs> Pardon me, one hit on me. There are actually quite a few maps. I think there's... I think there's four at the moment. Oh god, there's lots of them in there. <laughs> yeah, so there's four maps at the moment. And something that's um, actually really cool that they're doing is they're allowing the community to make maps. So over on their forums, they have a thread set up for people posting like map map outlines and the such. And any good ones, oh damn, any good ones that they find, they'll make into actual maps and put them into the game. Which I thought was a really really cool way to get the community involved and could actually come up with some really interesting things with that as well. Oh, the zombies won that time. Ooh. Well, they had 
They had two more players. We'll say that. <laughs> Actually, three more players, because one of the, our guys disconnected. Uh, I kind of wanted to go into the Guards and Thieves mode in a different map. But, yeah, some people are asking for different maps. But, yeah. Uh, options in this game are very limited and it doesn't really need many options at all. There's some things like here, show grass, anti-aliasing, which I put on. Haven't noticed a difference really with this. Um, the objective arrow, you actually probably kind of need this because um, it's hard to know where what item you're wanting to steal and uh, because in the guards and thieves mode I'm hoping that ah oh, that did kick me from the game oh well, that's something else that needs to be kind of fixed as well um the whole server thing here is a bit dodgy uh, it won't update uh, new servers will show up eventually but there's no like refresh button or anything like that you can quick join which gets around that but Sometimes you want to join a server that's kind of full, and that doesn't. You can't really do that when there's no um, refresh. So the numbers kind of stay the same. Back into here, yeah. So the thief objective arrow in the guards of thieves game mode. Um, there's lots of stuff you can steal, but there's one object that you need to steal that will win the game. So that's what the arrow does. It tells you where that object is. So that's a really recommended to keep on. Uh, outlines for my player, yeah. And that, yeah. So there's a, the graphics options are in the before game client startup thing. So this is a Unity game, so as you'd expect, that's, that's what they're running. Uh, there's not really many graphical options. Actually, there's just resolution, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. And then there's the uh, key bindings, which is just WASD. They haven't added anything else there. So I'm in spectator mode at the moment, so I might end the video quite shortly here. Uh, the game is on screen Steam Greenlight, which I expect to get past really easily because this game is actually really great I really like it um, so yeah uh, I need to click there we go so I could actually be involved in some of this so the game is by Subvert Games I forgot to mention that at the start but they haven't really worked on a proper game before the first title they worked on was a simulation, so it wasn't really a fully fledged game. And then, oh, he almost had him. And they're also working on a new game that's coming out, which is going to be pirate based, which is still heavily in development. As this one is, I would imagine, almost completed. They've just got a couple more things to add into the game. So as you can see here on the assault side, everything's darkened out when the lights are switched off. And with the zombies or the thieves, you can see everything in this kind of night vision kind of way. The game will be, or not will be, is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. So they're going for the whole multi-platform. I believe the servers actually cross over as well. So you could play on Mac, Linux or Windows servers, which is really great. Means there's not this kind of divide in the community. So yeah. This guy's actually using a pretty good strategy here. If you get into these um, forest areas, they can't see you at all. Unless they see you go into that area, but they can't because the thieves have no light out here. So yeah, I think that's all I want to say about the game. Go check it out. If you're into the kind of Mercs v Spies 
kind of game modes, this will be like, you'll really enjoy this game. So yeah, that's been my player preview of Guards and Thieves. I'll see you guys next time.